electrostatic discharge. All right, so what is electrostatic discharge? Basically, your human body is going to build up static electricity all the time, even when you're just sitting here at your desk. Um, it's true, especially in drier environments. So we're in the winter time right now. It's even more true. Um, my wife has this horrible habit of generating like amazing amounts of static electricity. I don't know how she does it, but every time she walks out to the car to go open the door, you can see the lightning like fly from her hands at the door, right? You go, and zaps you, right? Um, and so she really like loves it when I come over to her and like touch her because then all my electricity goes right into her uh, and then she gets zapped. Uh, but basically that's what happens, right? And so we, our body is building up this electricity and it builds up 20 to 25,000 volts, which sounds like a whole lot, right? But the good thing is it's a very, very minor amperage. And because it's very minor amperage, it won't hurt you, right? It just kind of shocks you. And I'm sure you guys all did this with your sisters or brothers when you were little. You got your socks on and you scraped it along the big shag carpet on the floor, building up all the electricity you could, and then run over and touch your sister and watch her go bzzz and zap her. No, just me. Okay, I'm just a jerk. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, when you touch something, it discharges that from your body, right? Uh, and what happens is when you have a lower electrical potential, like metal, it will actually discharge from you into the metal. And so if you touch something like a circuit board, like a video card or memory, you can actually take your body's electricity and put it into that card. And if you do that, you can break the circuitry, okay? And you'll never even know it because when you look at the circuits, they're like really, really tiny and trying to see that little break that you made, you're not going to see it. So we're going to have to prevent that when we do work on our computers, right? And I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy. See this awesome little blue thing that this guy has on? That's called an ESD strap. It's an anti-static wrist strap. Um, it is the most effective thing. On my slide, I say it's a cheap device, about $7. If you go on Amazon and you're an Amazon Prime person, they're about $1.50. They're very, very inexpensive. Okay? Basically, it's a rubber um, wrist strap, and right where it connects, there's a little piece of metal underneath it that touches onto your skin. So now this, the electricity goes from you into the wrist strap, down that cord, and to wherever that alligator clip is touching which will be on some bare metal, like the case of this computer, which works great. You connect one side to the ground, the metal of the case, the other side to your body, and that discharges you. The second way you can do this is you can do what's called discharging to the case. It's not as effective, but sometimes you just don't have your ESD strap with you, right? If you're a technician and you're making house calls, you should have your ESD strap. But if you're at grandma's house and she's like, hey, while you're here, can you change my hard drive? You'll probably won't have it with you and you'll just end up using the ground against the chassis. And the way it works is basically you touch any part of the metal and then do the work. Um, you don't want to be sitting on carpet when you're doing this, right? So go to a tile floor or the kitchen table because, again, carpet builds up static electricity. But what you do is you touch that, and then you can pick up the card and put it in or put it in the hard drive. Um, ground yourself every time you touch a component, though. So if I'm going to take out a hard drive, I'm going to touch the case, take out the hard drive. When I go to put the new hard drive in, touch the case, put a new hard drive in. Right? Constantly reground yourself because you're constantly building up more static electricity. If you have an ESD strap, you don't have to worry about it because it's constantly discharging you, right? And the last thing we have here is our anti-static bags. Um, always use them. Uh, when you buy a component, it's going to come in this anti-static bag. Now, what do most ITs do? Because I will tell you this, ITs are lazy. Um, I've worked with them for a long time. I am one. I've been one for a long time. We're lazy people. And so what we normally end up doing is we will put the piece of pl the bag down and put the card on top of the bag. It does no good to put the card on top of the bag. The anti-static part is inside the bag, not on top of the bag. So when you take out a card and put it in the machine and you're putting the old card away, put it inside the bag, not on top of the bag. Don't just throw it in a desk drawer. People do that all the time too. They just throw a bunch of cards in the desk drawer. Um, if it's not inside the bag, it's not going to do you any good. Uh, precautions. So, the proper way to handle a card is like this gentleman in the upper left is doing. Notice he's not touching any of the gold contacts. He's touching the tops and sides of the cards. Not touching any of the chips, not touching any of the gold contacts. That's the proper way to handle a card. Um, you always handle it by the edge and always use your ESD protection. Um, you can't see it, but he does have a wrist strap on. I just cut the image before you could see it. I promise. Maybe. Uh, he should, right? Uh, remove jewelry and avoid loose clothes. So, um, some places you work, you have to have badges on, right? You have these lanyards with your badges hanging off. If you're going to be working inside a computer, throw it around the back side of you so it's not dangling into the computer. If you have, like, necklaces, put them inside your, your shirt. Um, if you wear, like, a, a bunch of jewelry, like rings and stuff, 
it's good to take that stuff off because again, metal conducts. Um, it also gets caught on stuff. Um, any static mats. So a lot of computer rooms will have these special mats. They're any static, so when you're standing on them, it's grounding your body into the mats as well. That helps out. Uh, again, you can raise humidity. Um, probably not the most practical of solutions, right? I'm not going to come to your house and be like, hey, Sarah, I'm here to replace your hard drive. Can you raise the humidity in your house to about 40 to 50% for me? It's not going to happen, right? Um, but if you're working in a server room, we do keep those humidities, like I said, 20 to 60%. Ideally, that 40 to 50% is really nice. Um, and we keep that for best operations. And so a server room is a good place to do all this maintenance, right? Um, avoid carpeted areas. Carpet builds electrostatic. electrostatic. And keep electrical devices away. Um, again, ITs are lazy. So what do we like to do? We like to get those big old drills, like Ryobi drills, right? And we start like putting the screws in and out to take apart the computers. Um, the motors create static electricity as well, just like vacuums do. So if you're going to use hand tools like that, you have to get the right ones. They actually sell ones that are safe for computers that don't create that electrostatic buildup. Okay? Um, they're very underpowered and very slow because they minimize that, but they do work. Um, so again, just use a regular screwdriver. You don't have that problem. So just something people usually don't think of. So what does ESD really look like? If I didn't have a big glowing orange arrow here, you probably would not be able to figure out where the ESD was. But now that I have it, you'll know exactly where it is. It's right there. And when you zoom in under magnification, that's what it looks like. This is very, very magnified already, both of these. If I just showed you the card and said, find the ESD, you probably wouldn't be able to find it, right? That's why I'm saying it's very important to use your anti-static strap because you're not going to be able to look at it and just go, oh, this memory chip is broken because somebody ESD'd it, right? So, sample question. What are the best ways to avoid ESD? First one, anti-static strap, right? Second one, touch the case. And the third one, anti-static bags. I love E. I've never seen anti-static spray in my life. It doesn't exist. They're just throwing it off because it says anti-static and people will choose it. Okay? They love to do this kind of stuff on the test, so just keep that in mind. But no, anti-static straps is the best. Touching the case is the second best. And anti-static bags is great when you're carrying things from one location to the other, always use an anti-static bag. 